Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of the official party in the plane of honors. Remain standing as Professor Bert Tussing sings our national anthem, followed by Chaplain Franklin's delivery of the invocation. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Let us pray. We come to you today with gratitude, O oh God. We thank you that we were able to gather to recognize the Army War College resident class of 2021. This class, perhaps more than others, has overcome significant challenges to reach this day. As they graduate, we pray that you give them a vision for strategic impact and noble character as senior leaders. We also thank you for the families whose often selfless support and sacrifice has played a role in making today a reality. Bless them for their loving commitment and perseverance. As we celebrate and recognize these Army War College graduates, we trust that the strength and wisdom gained in this year will bear fruit both personally and in the service to their country. These things we pray in your name. Amen. Please be seated. We'd like to thank the Pennsylvania Army National Guards, first of the 108th Field Artillery, for honoring our guest speaker with a 19-gun salute.
We begin today's ceremony with recognition for four War College faculty who were selected by their peers for exemplary performance as a teacher and mentor. They will receive the award for excellence in teaching during the core courses of the resident program. Presenting the awards are the Dean, Colonel Michelle Ryan, and the Provost, Dr. James Breckenridge, along with the Acting Commandant of the Army War College, Major General David Hill, and our guest speaker, General James McConville, Chief of Staff of the Army. Professor Brett Weigel in the Department of Military Strategy, Planning, and Operations. Colonel Roderick Butts in the Department of Military Strategy, Planning, and Operations. Dr. Stephen Garris in the Department of Command, Leadership, and Management. And Dr. Edward Kaplan in the Department of National Security and Strategy. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for our faculty award winners. In addition to the Army War College resident and distance education programs, 80 other students complete their senior level professional military education as Army War College fellows. In a non-military setting at 41 locations in 55 programs across the United States and overseas, fellows compete for the same awards for outstanding student research and writing on national security. Five Army War College fellows received writing awards in absentia. Lieutenant Colonel Timothy Renahan, fellow at Yale University, won first place in the National Defense and Military Strategy Essay Competition sponsored by the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. His project advisor was Dr. Tammy Biddle. Lieutenant Colonel Lisa Mann, fellow at the Asia Pacific Center for Security Studies, received a writing award from the Association of the United States Army. Her project advisor was Professor Al Lord. Colonel Joseph Palladino, fellow at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, received a writing award from the Military Order of the World Wars. His project advisor was Dr. David Dworak. Colonel John Shermer, fellow at the Central Intelligence Agency, received the War College Foundation's Colonel Jerry D. Cashin Memorial Writing Award. His project, project advisor was Professor Mark Twombly. And Colonel Michael Tarpey, fellow at George Washington University, received the War College Foundation's Award for Outstanding Strategy Research Project. His project advisor was Colonel Maurice Sipos. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for our fellow, War College Fellows Award winners. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the Acting Commandant of the Army War College, Major General David Hill. Good morning, everyone. General McConville, Mrs. McConville, distinguished visitors, friends and families of the Army War College class of 2021, and most importantly, our graduates. Regardless of the weather, this is a great day to celebrate this extraordinary Army War College set of graduates. This historic Army base has seen untold numbers of graduating classes, from the earliest soldiers in the early days of our country's history through a series of innovative Army schools, to the Army War College student bodies who have studied here since 1951. But this has been an interesting year. A year to learn, to grow, and to test mental agility. And we tested that all the way up to this last uh, few moments of your experience here at the Army War College. And at long last, we are here though, and thankfully we can see each other's smiles. The provost, the dean, and faculty have informed me you've been thoroughly tested and have earned your new designation as a graduate of the United States Army War College. We're proud of you. We're excited to see how you'll flourish in your future responsibilities. And you leave here with our faith in you and our prayers for you. Now it's my distinct pleasure to introduce our graduation speaker. General James C. McConville is our 40th Chief of Staff of the United States Army. He's a graduate of the United States Military Academy, commissioned as an infantry officer in 1981. General McConville then transitioned to become an aviator in 1988 after graduating from the Aviation Officer Advanced Course. And since, 
He has commanded at every echelon through division and now leads our army at its highest level. General McConville holds a Master's of Science in Aerospace Engineering from Georgia Institute of Technology and was a graduate from this institution as an Army War College Fellow at Harvard University in 2002. General McConville, thank you for joining us here for this remarkable occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm round, or a warm welcome for General McConville. Thank you. Well, thank, thanks, Dave, for that warm welcome. It, and what a great day it is at the Army War College. And I know it's raining, you know, and I know it's raining, but, but here's the deal. You know, if it, it ain't raining, we ain't training in the Army, right? And so that, there it goes. But no, really, you know, it could be, it's raining, but it could be lightning, you know? It could be snowing, it could be 105 degrees. So when you go out there, hunt for the good stuff. So it's just a mild rain, it's all good. But I will tell you, it's a great day to be in the United States Army. It's a great day to be in the military. It's a great day to be here with our allies and partners because we have the privilege and the honor of serving with the world's greatest soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Guardians, and Coasties in the world. And we should never forget that every single day. And that's why it's a great day uh, to be here. And it's a special day to have all to have you all here, and I'd like to welcome our distinguished guests, our defense attaches, our ambassadors supporting our international fellows, our local National Guard and Reserve component representatives, and the faculty and staff that's here for today's ceremony. And, and a special thanks to the faculty and staff for producing another great cohort of strategic leaders and operators. And I was proud to see Professor Steve Garris uh, receive that distinguished award for scholarship. Uh, he and I were in the same co company at West Point, and I never doubted that he would rise to such a, a great level of scholarship. And he's probably surprised that I graduated. I'm still in the Army. So great to see you, Steve. <laughs> so if you want some stories on, on a, a cadet that had a lot of as I like to describe it, unrealized potential. You can talk to Steve and he can help you out with, on me. So it's great to see you, Steve. Hey, and a special congratulations to the Army War College class of 2021. And I'm honored to be here and honored to recognize this great milestone in your professional military education. And I want to thank your families. I know some are here and I'm glad, you know, we, we got a chance to do this outdoors because Really, we want to thank the families. We want to thank you for enabling your service members to continue to serve. We want to thank you uh, for, the, for what you've done and, and, quite frankly, for what will happen in the future in enabling all uh, uh, these great officers the opportunity uh, to serve during this extremely challenging time, as we like to describe it. You know, it, it, it's reassuring for me to see the diversity of this class of 360 students, the mix of sister services, civilians, and international fellows and officers from all three components. And I think what's important about this is how we bring everyone together and reinforcing our shared values and building relationships that extend well beyond our military branches, our civilian organizations, and our geographic borders. Because I believe by sharing different ideas and perspectives, you'll establish bonds that will last long after you leave here. And these relationships matter. You know, the scholarship that you did is extremely important, but I would suggest in some ways the relationships uh, that you established here, no matter what service, no matter what agency, no matter what country, are, are extremely important and they make us stronger every single day. And as you all hear, you know, people often want to say these are challenging times, but quite frankly, there's always challenging times. And we've been through these challenging times before. You know, and I, I was thinking, you know, everyone's always got to tell their story, but, you know, you know I, I was thinking about this, that it was 20 years uh, ago, almost to the date, uh, that I started the Army War College, and that was in 2001. 
And, you know, when we started that course in, in the summer of 2001, we could never imagine uh, that our country would be attacked. We could never imagine that terrorists would come and, and kill our citizens uh, like they did. And during that year, we quickly learned that our lives would be changed, that we would go on, and you all have been uh, serving during the last 20 years, going off to multiple combat tours to, to defend this country, along with our allies and partners. But that's the world that we lived in, and quite frankly, that's the world that we live in in the future. And when you came here, we we're in the midst of an attack by a devastating virus, COVID-19, an invisible virus. And when you think about it, the, the threat of this virus has taken more American lives than we lost in World War II. Think about that, like this devastating virus. And you've had to work your way through that. And you've had to navigate through this very difficult environment. And, and I'm extremely proud of, of what you've done. And as we look ahead in this COVID-19 world, and we've made a lot of progress. We've made a lot of progress, at least in the States, with the vaccinations, and, and we need to get that out to the rest of the world. But there's still much work to be done. And the other thing is, you know, after 20 years of what I would suggest has been irregular warfare, counterinsurgency, and counterterrorism, we are at an inflection point in our country, in our world. We are in an era, our time of great power competition. But I believe that great power competition doesn't have to mean great power conflict. In fact, it can't mean that. And the way we deter great power conflict is through a strategy of peace through strength. And that strength comes from a whole, a whole of government approach supported by a strong military a strong army and strong allies and partners. And this is why our army and our military is undergoing, I would argue, our most consequential transformation in 40 years. I suggest every 40 years, at least for the army, we must transform. We did this in 1940, right before World War II, when General Marshall had the job that I'm honored to sit in. We did it in 1980. Uh, when I came into the military, and many of you were, were thinking about coming to the military, and we must do it in 2020. And you, as strategic leaders, will lead your organizations through this major transformation that's going to happen over the next five to ten years. You will be moving into key leadership positions with the responsibility not only to transform your organizations, but to maintain a high state, state of readiness so you're ready to fight tonight. And you'll be doing this while this invisible threat of COVID continues to challenge our country and the world. But I am confident in each and every one of you that you'll lead your organizations through these challenges ahead. And if you don't remember anything else I said, I'd ask you to remember two things. People first and winning matters. And for me, people are our, most, our greatest strength. They're our most important weapon system in the Army, in the military. And we get the right people in the right place at the right time. When we develop cohesive units where everyone treats everyone with big respect and takes care of each other, I am convinced that we will win in any endeavor on any battlefield. And winning matters is an attitude not just in Boston sports teams, but also in the Army. Because I believe when we send the United States Army somewhere, we, when we send your unit somewhere, we are not sending you to participate. We are not sending you to try hard. We are sending you to win because there's no second place or honorable mention in combat. And Americans want to win. Your soldiers want to win. The American people expect us to win. And that's precisely what we need to do. And some would say, hey, what does winning look like today? Well, we have to define that for our soldiers. Winning is not going to be signing some peace treaty on some battleship somewhere. It doesn't work that way anymore. But we owe our soldiers 
our sailors, our airmen, Marines, our coasties and gardens, what that means, and we need to define that for them. And I know that you will do that. And so your success in your next jobs is going to be critical for the nation. I would suggest you stay connected. I'd ask to the people that you met here, you will show up at different places around the world, and those relationships will be strong, and those relationships will be necessary. We're proud of each and every one of you. We trust you to lead our most precious weapon system, our people in the future. Stay healthy, stay safe, and good luck and Godspeed on your next rendezvous with destiny. It's about people first, winning matters, and we stay Army strong. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Major General Hill and the Army War College are pleased to confer upon General James McConville the honorary degree of Master of Letters, Strategic Studies, and Norris Causa, together with all honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto given at Carlisle, Pennsylvania, this 11th day of June, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, class of 2021 diplomas are conferred under the authority of the United States Congress. Student Awards Program recognizes outstanding student research and writing on national security. Winners will receive their award with their diploma and degree. The awards presented today are sponsored by the Army War College, by the Army War College Foundation and by external organizations that encourage excellence in military scholarship. Honoring our graduates today are Colonel Ryan, Dr. Breckenridge, Major General Hill, and General McConville. Please hold your applause until all diplomas and awards have been presented. Seminar one, Colonel Scott W. McClellan. Lieutenant Colonel James E. Armstrong, distinguished graduate. Mr. John J. Cardi, Jr. Graduating in absentia, Lieutenant Colonel James L. Crocker. Lieutenant Colonel Frank J. Fair. Colonel Haitham Hassan Mohammed Fayed. Lieutenant Colonel Stephen W. Greer. Colonel Thomas A. Harper, distinguished graduate. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel David H. Eichels. Lieutenant Colonel Alvin J. Jenkins. Lieutenant Colonel Jason L. Miles. Colonel Esty S. Pinchason, distinguished graduate. Colonel Pinchason received the Commandant's Award for Distinction in Research. Her project advisor was Dr. Stephen Garris. Lieutenant Colonel Michael A. Sapp. Lieutenant Colonel Andrew D. Wenzel. Seminar two, Lieutenant Colonel Mason Davis Thompson. Lieutenant Colonel Guillermo Benavides. Lieutenant Colonel Mark David Chang. Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed Sayed Habana. Colonel Brian P. Jacobson. Colonel Frank E. Jefferson. Graduating in absentia, Colonel Michael F. Klepper, distinguished graduate. Colonel Klepper received the Commandant's Award for Distinction in Research. His project advisor was Dr. Leonard Wong. Lieutenant Colonel Michael W. Lawson. Colonel Craig C. McFarland. 
Colonel David A. Norris, distinguished graduate. Ms. Bernice A. Parkhill. Lieutenant Colonel Mark A. Smith, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Lydia Y. Thornton. Seminar three, Colonel Lee A. Burnett. Lieutenant Colonel Rena O. Henderson Adelema. Lieutenant Colonel Brian M. Hummel. Colonel Marco Yavarone. Colonel Adisa T. King. Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Judson Knight. Lieutenant Colonel Robert D. Merrill, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Merrill received the Marine Corps Association and Foundation's General Thomas Holcomb Writing Award. His project advisor was Professor Edward Filiberti. Colonel Martin P. Pleiss, Jr. Mr. Mark C. Russo. Brigadier General Abdul Sami. Colonel Stacy M. Tomic. Colonel James W. Welch. Colonel Randall D. Wenner. Lieutenant Colonel Jason A. Whitford, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Whitford received the War College Foundation's Award for Outstanding Strategy Research Project. His project advisor was Colonel Thomas Bages. Ms. Kathleen M. Yisley. Ms. Yisley received the War College Foundation's Lieutenant General Eugene J. D'Ambrosio Logistics Writing Award. Her project advisor was Professor Brett Weigel. Seminar four, Colonel Edwin L. Chilton. Colonel Mark C. Andres, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Ellen I. Coddington. Colonel Daniel Condras. Colonel Yusuf Diallo. Mr. Stephen M. Dotson. Colonel Misty L. Frodima. Mr. David P. Haugen. Mr. Haugen received the Commandant's Award for Distinction in Research. His project advisor was Dr. Heather Gregg. Colonel Brian T. Hoffman. Lieutenant Colonel Donald F. MacArthur. Lieutenant Colonel John A. Morris III. Colonel Adam S. Roberts. Lieutenant Colonel Anthony B. Rogers. Lieutenant Colonel Stephen P. Thibodeau. Commander Jeffrey A. Walker. Seminar five, Lieutenant Colonel Stephen T. Smith. Lieutenant Colonel Jennifer H. Alessio, distinguished graduate. Ms. Joe A. Dempsey. Colonel James M. Egan. Lieutenant Colonel Frank A. Hooker. 
Lieutenant Colonel Jeet H. Kaji, distinguished graduate. Colonel Petre Kochov. Colonel Robert W. McBride. Lieutenant Colonel Kyle T. Moulton. Colonel Carlos Alberto Padilla Cepeda. Colonel Robert E. Schrader. Lieutenant Colonel Russell L. Stoney. Lieutenant Colonel Damon M. Torres. Lieutenant Colonel John Daniel Wilson IV. Seminar 6, Lieutenant Colonel Nicholas J. Plutz. Colonel Liron Betito. Lieutenant Colonel Kemeth M. Dwyer. Colonel Andrew David Floor, distinguished graduate. Colonel Floor received the War College Foundation's Daniel M. Lewin Cyber Terrorism Technology Writing Award. His project advisor was Professor Benjamin Leitzel. Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey J. Hall. Colonel James W. Hicks. Lieutenant Colonel Robert C. Hoffman. Lieutenant Colonel Hung Nguyen. Colonel Godfrey and Karuna. Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Eric C. Ocampo. Lieutenant Colonel Thomas T. Putnam, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Putnam received the War College Foundation's Award for Outstanding Strategy Research Project. His project advisor was Dr. Richard Lackumann. Mr. Andrew M. Romer. Lieutenant Colonel Anthony R. Ward. Seminar 7, Colonel Rebecca Connolly. Colonel Jeffrey Barta. Colonel Tavi N. Brunson. Lieutenant Colonel John W. Copeland. Colonel Jesse T. Curry. Lieutenant Colonel Augustine Garcia Vardus. Mrs. Kira Capen Hall. Lieutenant Colonel Michael J. Joshan. Lieutenant Colonel Eric J. Keith. Lieutenant Colonel Andrew J. Knight. Lieutenant Colonel Michael P. Martin. Lieutenant Colonel Arthur R. Noel. Colonel Cade M. Sai. Brigadier General Balbir Singh. Lieutenant Colonel Clodion Tanasi. Seminar 8. Colonel Thomas A. Getke. 
Colonel Bonnie Blue B. Clemente. Colonel Gantulga Devadgorge. Lieutenant Colonel Tanaka Heather Dunn. Colonel Joseph E. Elsner. Colonel Bradley J. Harbaugh. Colonel Karsten Kramer. Mr. Glenn H. Legg. Colonel Michael L. Lindley. Colonel Michael I. Maharaj. Colonel Maharaj received the Commandant's Award for Distinction in Research. His project advisor was Colonel Douglas Winton. Graduating in absentia, Colonel John W. Meredith. Lieutenant Colonel Benjamin J. Newman. Lieutenant Colonel Newman received the Reserve Officers Association's Lieutenant General Thomas J. Pluis Writing Award. His project advisor was Dr. Thomas Galvin. Commander Michael M. Posey. Lieutenant Colonel Jason S. Robb, distinguished graduate. Ms. Heather E. Sapp. Seminar 9, Lieutenant Colonel Chika A. Ihenetu. Colonel Ayman Alduwari. Lieutenant Colonel Victorus Bagdonas. Colonel Christopher B. Bartos. Colonel Lisa M. Cunningham. Colonel Richard J. Davis. Mr. Daniel J. Harvey. Lieutenant Colonel David W. Hughes. Lieutenant Colonel Frank K. Kramer. Lieutenant Colonel Barkari G. A. Lane. Lieutenant Colonel Casey A. Martinez. Colonel James M. Mitchell. Brigadier General Ridwan Rachman. Ms. Danielle A. Spinard Christie. Lieutenant Colonel John M. Wenzel. <clears throat> Seminar 10, Colonel Robert L. Liaito. Colonel Abdullah al Katami. Lieutenant Colonel Todd Michael Daniels. Colonel Andrew J. Kaiser. Colonel Ababu Tashoma Legese. Lieutenant Colonel Francisco Javier Lopez VR. Lieutenant Colonel David Michael Martinez. Lieutenant Colonel Robert McClellan. Lieutenant Colonel Ann M. Meredith. Lieutenant Colonel Peter A. Olson. Mr. Andre A. Page. 
Lieutenant Colonel Philip D. Porter. Lieutenant Colonel Bradley S. Waite. Lieutenant Colonel Waite received the War College Foundation's Dr. Sarah L. Morgan Civilian Development and Management Writing Award. His project advisor was Dr. Frank Jones. Colonel Eric C. Wheatland. Lieutenant Colonel Arlen R. Wilshire. Seminar 11, Colonel Brian M. Cadet. Lieutenant Colonel Jacob H. Andrews. Lieutenant Colonel Victor Napoleon N. Gonzalez Roca. Lieutenant Colonel Jody D. Hansen. Colonel Robert C. Horvath. Lieutenant Colonel Kevin G. Hunter. Lieutenant Colonel Kylie Rose Hyatt. Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey J. Ignatowski. Colonel Vadim Kapilovich. Colonel Adam L. Lowmaster. Mr. Ty R. Marr. Lieutenant Colonel Adam M. Miller. Colonel Nuru Hayat Mohammed. Lieutenant Colonel Melissa N. Riddick. Lieutenant Colonel Catherine P. Sanborn, distinguished graduate. Seminar 12, Lieutenant Colonel Pat Blankenship. Brigadier General Tanka Prasad Bata. Ms. Audrey D. Layden. Colonel Christian T. Lewis. Colonel Drew S. Lunoff. Lieutenant Colonel Dion D. Maxwell. Colonel Rob McChrystal, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Andy Owens. Lieutenant Colonel Hardy Robinson, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Al Simmons, Jr. Lieutenant Colonel Julie M. Sposito Salceas. Lieutenant Colonel Sposito Salceas received the War College Foundation's Major General Harold J. Green Memorial Writing Award. Her project advisor was Dr. Frank Jones. Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Stonerook. Lieutenant Colonel Gregor Vodeb. Colonel Matt Williams. Seminar 13, Lieutenant Colonel Kristen N. Dolly. Colonel Sean M. Brown. Lieutenant Colonel Brett W. Cochran. Colonel Xavier Colon. Colonel Arlindo Cruz Nato. Colonel Shalula Zinzibedo. 
Lieutenant Colonel Robert J. Gerlach. Lieutenant Colonel Jaima F. Letham. Mr. Michael L. Mandolfo. Commander Joseph L. Proust V. Colonel Jason Michael Seary. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Anthony Van Whaley. Lieutenant Colonel Van Whaley received the War College Foundation's Award for Outstanding Strategy Research Project. His project advisor was Professor William Braun. Lieutenant Colonel Dennis F. Williams. Seminar 14, Colonel John M. Ives. Lieutenant Colonel Chad J. Blackader. Colonel James A. Brenning. Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey J. Cole. Colonel Ralph D. Heaton. Commander Zachary R. Holcraft. Commander Holcraft received the General Matthew B. Ridgway Writing Award. His project advisor is Professor Brett Weigel. Lieutenant Colonel Paul C. Judge. Mr. Xu Huang Lan. Lieutenant Colonel Abdule Mbenge. Colonel John G. Missenheimer. Colonel Chad M. Branskugler. Mr. Matthew J. Shellam, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Trevor S. Vocal. Colonel Christos Vutskoglu. Lieutenant Colonel Clinton S. Williams. Seminar 15, Colonel David J. Mulak. Colonel Jonathan B. Bell. Colonel Bell received a writing award from the Red River Valley Fighter Pilots Association. His project advisor was Colonel Roderick Butts. Mr. Lewis J. Bellow. Lieutenant Colonel Brian Busk. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher M. Chung. Lieutenant Colonel Casey D. Coyle. Lieutenant Colonel Aixa Donez. Graduating in absentia, Colonel Brian M. Decody, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Roberto Garvea Bardales. Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Robert M. Hudson. Lieutenant Colonel Hudson received a writing award from the U.S. Military Academy's Simon Center for the Professional Military Ethic. His project advisor was Dr. Anthony Pfaff. Lieutenant Colonel Jason S. Maisel. Colonel Elphis Rudy. Colonel William H. Snook. Lieutenant Colonel Thomas J. Troyan. Lieutenant Colonel William D. Ward. Seminar 16, Colonel Keith D. Hockman. Colonel Bunarong Bunyapapa. Lieutenant Colonel Roger W. Cabaness. 
Ms. Shelley J. Dittmar. Ms. Dittmar received the Commandant's Award for Distinction in Research. Her project advisor was Ambassador Ann Casper. Colonel Elizabeth H. Duque. Lieutenant Colonel James D. Hannigan. Graduating in absentia, Colonel David P. Key. Lieutenant Colonel Michael J. Lewis. Lieutenant Colonel Gavin O. Lure. Colonel Jeffrey M. Munn. Lieutenant Colonel Charles D. Nickel. Lieutenant Colonel Andy J. Paneer. Lieutenant Colonel Victor A. Purak. Commander Johan Selyama. Seminar 17. Colonel James A. Kivit. Lieutenant Colonel Fala Al Katani. Colonel Gregory Paul Frazier. Lieutenant Colonel Adam Guventurk. Colonel Lucas S. Hightower. Lieutenant Colonel Rachel M. Hoagland. Lieutenant Colonel Paul A. Canning. Colonel Victor Cyprian McGarry. Lieutenant Colonel Patrick J. Malone. Mr. Richard J. Rigalski. Colonel John William Sandor. Lieutenant Colonel Andrew William Viderick. Chaplain Colonel Kevin Eugene Wainwright, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Joshua O. Waymond. Seminar 18. Colonel Toby Nathan Curto, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Brian C. Campbell. Colonel Lachere Marie Campbell. Mr. Ronald E. Hawkins, Jr. Lieutenant Colonel John P. Horning. Lieutenant Colonel Saminu Mani. Lieutenant Colonel Paul J. Marco. Colonel Joseph William McKenna, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel William Travis McKnight. Colonel Joseph T. Sheridan, distinguished graduate. Brigadier General Saeed Muhammad Jawad Tariq. Colonel Michael Joseph Trofinoff. Colonel Stephen B. Waldrop. Mr. Andrew V. Walsh. Seminar 19, Colonel Stephen M. Kaplachinsky. 
Lieutenant Colonel Kristen L. Augay. Colonel Emmanuel Lee Kabasan. Lieutenant Colonel William G. Cluster. Lieutenant Colonel Jason J. Dumzer. Ms. Sandra B. Gaston. Colonel Ricardo D. Jones. Colonel Andrew Q. Jordan. Lieutenant Colonel Stephen D. Ramella. Lieutenant Colonel Heather M. Rolker. Lieutenant Colonel Rolker received a writing award from the Armed Forces Communications Electronics Association and Command Sergeant Major William and Mrs. Rosa Barano. Her project advisor was Dr. Thomas Galvin. Colonel Brandon H. Sukora. Colonel Johnny R. Sutton. Colonel Shewangaza Zemedekun. Seminar 20, Lieutenant Colonel Cedric G. Lee. Lieutenant Colonel Stuart A. Adams. Colonel Christopher W. Anderson. Colonel Davor Josip Babich. Graduating in absentia, Mr. Jason D. Barrett. Lieutenant Colonel James R. Bartron, second. Mr. Carrington R. Carter, senior. Colonel Candace M. Daffin. Colonel James M. Gallagher. Lieutenant Colonel James H. Height. Lieutenant Colonel Marcus S. Hunter. Lieutenant Colonel Matthew A. Markham. Lieutenant Colonel Thomas H. Melton II. Lieutenant Colonel Melton received a writing award from the Foreign Area Officer Association. His project advisor was Dr. John Denny. Colonel Jesu Ru. Lieutenant Colonel Mary Elizabeth Scott. Seminar 21, Colonel Franklin B. Shera. Lieutenant Colonel Hamada Zaid Abdul Hamid. Lieutenant Colonel Malcolm S. Bush. Commander Darian Caldwell. Colonel Jeffrey D. Hall. Colonel Matthew Sean Hampton. Colonel Carl Krachirik. Lieutenant Colonel Paul D. Lang. Colonel Sean P. McGee. Colonel Frederick Antiri. Lieutenant Colonel Matthew A. Price. Lieutenant Colonel John Corey Reed, distinguished graduate. Colonel Stephen J. Simonsma. 
Colonel Joey J. Sollinger. Mr. Andrew J. Tate, distinguished graduate. Seminar 22, Colonel Samuel William Klein. Colonel Marwan Mohammed Al Falasi. Colonel Sherry Bennett. To honor Colonel Bennett's leadership as the student class president, the Army War College Foundation presents her with a lifetime alumni membership. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Burgett. Captain Scott Jackson. Colonel Mark Johnston, Jr. Lieutenant Colonel Kirk Yonker. Lieutenant Colonel Ricardo Kayser. Colonel Brage Larson, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Ayodele Lawson. Colonel Lynn Lee. Colonel David K. Spencer, distinguished graduate. Mr. John L. Velarde, Jr. Lieutenant Colonel Charles William Wells. Lieutenant Colonel Paul W. Witkowski. Seminar 23. Colonel Christian Edwin Beasy. Lieutenant Colonel Thomas J. Bouchalon. Lieutenant Colonel John Turner Bowman. Lieutenant Colonel Charles L. Carter, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Carter won first place in the National Strategy Essay Competition sponsored by the Secretary of Defense. He also received the Commandant's Award for Distinction in Research. His project advisor was Professor Grace Stettenbauer. Dr. Nicholas P. Charles. Captain Tony V. Giles. Lieutenant Colonel Peggy J. Grunwald. Colonel Timothy R. Yeager. Colonel Igor Yeshek. Lieutenant Colonel Richard Bard Johnson, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Vernon L. Jones, Jr. Lieutenant Colonel David Bahati Motoyumba. Colonel Takeshi Nahatsu. Colonel Andrew C. Stedman. Colonel Stedman received a writing award from the Military Officers Association of America. His project advisor was Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Britt. Lieutenant Colonel Paul A. Tomsick. Seminar 24, Colonel Christopher M. Marquez. Dr. Carrie K. Antall, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Eric M. Bissonette. Colonel Faith M. Chamberlain, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Charles K. DeJou. Lieutenant Colonel Ivalo Ivanov, distinguished graduate. Colonel Michael A. Landon. Lieutenant Colonel Ricardo Lopez Palafox.
graduating in absentia, Colonel Brian E. McCarthy, Colonel Kelvin Edward Mote, Commander Matthew B. Powell, distinguished graduate, Lieutenant Colonel Mark J. Sanborn, distinguished graduate, Lieutenant Colonel Sanborn received the Colonel and Mrs. T. Bristol Military History Writing Award. His project advisor was Professor, Professor Robert Bradford. Mr. Robert D. Schultes. Colonel James A. Watts. Colonel Watts received a writing award from the 454th Bombardment Group. His project advisor was Dr. Thomas Bershino. Seminar 25, Colonel John L. Ament. Chaplain Colonel Jeffrey Nicholas Bailey. Colonel Bailey received a writing award from the Military Officers Association of America. His project advisor was Dr. Thomas Galvin. Lieutenant Colonel Theodore Aaron Banner. Lieutenant Colonel Joseph A. Baldry. Colonel Johnny M. Cassiano. Lieutenant Colonel Hatem Galu. Lieutenant Colonel Charles M. Knoll. Mr. Gregory W. Lynch. Colonel Raymond J. Nassour. Colonels Regors Potruski, Lieutenant Colonel Menorico M. Santiago, Lieutenant Colonel Leslie L. Semro, Distinguished Graduate, Graduating in Absentia, Commander Kristen D. Veshensky. Lieutenant Colonel Gary David Whitaker. Colonel John M. Wilcox. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the graduates of the United States Army War College Resident Class of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as Chaplain Franklin offers the benediction, followed by the singing of the service song medley and Old Lang Syne. We invite you to sing along using the lyrics printed in your program. May God grant you the strength of your education and training to walk confidently as strategic leaders in a complex world. The wisdom to listen for the path of peace in the face of potential competition and conflict and the grace to lead with courage and integrity. And may the peace of God go with us all. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the departure of the official party. Two final announcements. First, graduates can pick up their frame degrees and diplomas at the frame shop until 5 p.m. Second, the foundation gift shop in Root Hall is open until 4 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the graduation ceremony. Thank you for attending and congratulations and best wishes to the Army War College Class of 2021. Strength and wisdom.